And now we snug everything up. Not yet though. Gotta move one more bolt. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on the 3100 again. And here I have in my hands the body mount for the Code 504 kit. It's a really nice machine piece of steel. It will bolt directly to the Chevy S10 frame down here. We got a lot of parts ordered from Rock Auto. We've got front discs and calipers, bushings, ball joints, tie rods, all new steering components. All components, American components, Russian components, all made in Taiwan. A new steering gearbox. And we got new drums for the back with pads, or shoes, I should say. So we have a lot going on, a lot of parts going to be coming in, a lot of stuff coming up for the channel. So let's get to it. So right here I'm using the stepper bit to make a couple holes larger to bolt on the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a half inch spot on the stepper bit with some electrical tape just so I can see where to stop when I'm drilling.
right here are where the cab mounts are going to go on the rear of the frame. The problem is I am using a 108 inch S10 frame that calls for a 118 inch frame. So they want me to measure from the rear rivet right here 13.75 inches which would be about right about here on the frame. Problem is that's going to be a really short from the front cab mount to the back cab mount. So if I take the 108 inch frame minus you know the 118 inch frame, I'm supposed to be using this 10 inch difference. So subtract 10 inches off of the 13.75 inches that they want me to use. That would put me right about 3.75 inches in front of this. Now the problem we're running into is the bracket's going to be crooked and it really should be mounted down like this. So I'm going to have to cut the bracket here, cut the bracket higher up here to make up the difference and make sure it's straight. I use the straight edge to follow the frame line along right here. Follow that along right there and then a 90 degree down so this is perfectly even 90 degree perpendicular with here. So this will be perfectly straight. I need to make some brackets so we'll do that in the next video. So as you can see we got the two front cab mounts mounted to the S10 frame using the code 504 kit. The problem we ran into was with the rear that I just showed you. So next video we're going to tackle the rear and possibly doing the front of the frame and the brackets for the bumper and mock up everything there. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.